Hello chess lovers! At last I am publishing the solution of the puzzle known as the Chinese Wall. I have to tell you that I received hundreds of messages on my Facebook page, though few of them found the solution correctly. Also, a large number of people were discussing in the comment section. Of course, thank you very much for your great interest. The puzzle was composed by a Hungarian chess composer Otto Blathy, who is known for his grotesque chess puzzles. This is a very old one and was first published in 1921 in Chess Amateur. And now the solution. You can see that though white has three extra pieces, but the position is locked up and it's very difficult to activate those pieces, they are like imprisoned. That's why white needs to open up this H file in order to penetrate black's camp and win the game. But in order to do it, first of all white needs to bring the rook to a1 square. In order to do it, white king is going to support white rook. Let's see how it goes. King b1, king f7. Meanwhile, black is just making random moves and white king comes to f1 square and now rook g2. Again, king e8. By the way, black will never accept the rook sacrifice because this means that black is giving white a chance to activate his knights. Now comes king f6 and now white has this f3 move and if g takes f3 check then king h3 king f5 knight f2 followed by g4 or if black captures on f3 with the pawn on e4 then king f1 king e6 again white knights are getting activated and this is winning for white let's go back rook g2 king e8 and now with the support of the king as i have already mentioned white rook goes to a1 square of course black again is not accepting the sacrifice and now after bishop c5 black is forced to protect the pawn on a4 by playing bishop e8 by the way if black tries to protect the a pawn with the king then white will simply play bishop f8 forcing black to move the g pawn and then will bring the bishop to b4 square placing black in a position of Tsuktsavang and again black has to move the g pawn or lose the a4 pawn. This is the best defensive strategy for black. And now white plays h5 sacrificing the pawn in order to open up the h file. Bishop d7 well black is not hurrying to accept the sacrifice and now white again brings the rook to h2 square. Rook c1, bishop e8 rook c2 and now black accepts the sacrifice by capturing on h5 sooner or later black has to accept otherwise if you bring your rook to h2 square then you can promote your pawn further the idea of capturing on h5 is that after king c1 king f7 you no longer have this rook e2 move because in this case black already can capture on e2 if king d2 then e takes d1 queen king takes d1 pay attention please you have already sacrificed your pawn on h4 and black has this g5 move and if f3 then g takes f3 knight f2 and g4 closing up the position and this is a draw there is no way to win with the white pieces but instead of playing rook e2 white plays first rook d2 king e6 and now rook d3 a very cunning idea by white king f7 king d2 king e6 king e1 king f7 rook d2 king e6 and with the help of the king white rook is being transported to h2 square the idea is now white is forcing black to play g6 and now again white rook goes back. This time the idea is to force black to play g5 to weaken up the h file. And now black plays g5 in order to open up the bishop's diagonal and protect the pawn on a4. But here comes king c1. By the way, king c1 is very important if a move like 
king e1 then this is a draw black will capture on c2 and then on d1 and after bringing the king to b5 square there is just no way to break through black will just move his bishop and this is a draw that's why after g5 white plays king c1 king e6 rook d2 and then white is bringing into life the same maneuver and transports the rook to h2 square here comes the king supporting the rook and rook h2 bishop f7 bishop d6 bishop comes to e5 square in order to support the rook this rook always needs some support rook g7 and black is starting to lose his pawns rook g7 check this is one of the possible lines already after the rook penetration it's easy rook e7 rook e5 and black is also losing the pawn on d5 and this is winning for white your comments and questions please and thanks for watching good luck